Hey YouTube, Lucky13 here with a little jewel that I just found on Steam, Interstellar Marines. I'm basically going to be doing a short playthrough of a tutorial here, just to give you an idea of what the game looks like and how it moves, and what you might think about it, so that you may decide if you want to buy it and play it for yourself, or if you're actually currently um, participating in this alpha, you can relate to what I'm doing here. Alrighty, let's get started. Welcome to ITO's Interstellar Warfare Initiative. I am ITO AI Sarah. The training area up ahead is configured with a few very simple initial challenges to assess your skill and rank. Let's begin. Alright, from the looks of it. It looks like, you know, your basic Call of Duty or Battlefield with the uh, hollow lens. Uh, from what I noticed, you can po you can actually, not possibly, you can actually uh, either toggle your zoom or you can hold in your right click and let up. And you are able to, you know, pull it up and put it down without actually having to do two click motions. So it's in, out, or click, and click. So it's, it's pretty pretty stellar that I've seen so far. Uh, right now, I believe these are the only two guns you can get in the tutorial training mode. I'm basically just doing the tutorial training mode just to get an idea of how the game would look and feel. Um, right now, I mean, it's, it's, it looks pretty <laughs> stellar. Let's you continue. have just arrived inside the vault, a large underground facility designed to house and develop all of the different programs of the initiative. Use panel to open the door. Use your CEC SMG to control hostile. Use your AR3 And it has a realistic type of aim to shoot. Like, if you were to actually shoot over there and you would miss, you would probably really miss. The next I mean, it's, training area. It's, it's, it feels really, really good. Uh, that's probably one of the better shooters that I've played. The combat training and I've played a lot of shooters in my life. Have been programmed to simulate average soldiers. Use cover to protect against their fire and the control. Little bit, I know I can shoot through the gap in the wall. Let's go ahead and proceed to the next training area. Like she said. You might already be a top tier special forces soldier. My programming will make you even better. Restore power to the door and continue to the next area. Locate and secure a key card to open the door and proceed to the next area. Proceed to next training area. Well, that seemed pretty simple. The point of that was but move as fast as possible we'll, to complete we'll this it. basic and utterly unuseful challenge and proceed. Yep, that was utterly useless. Okay, well, so it looks like place below the salty soil of we have a flashlight here. The vault is ITO's most top secret special That's pretty projects cool. facility uh, in the world. We have a laser. I haven't quite figured out how to change the uh, the burst on the weapon yet. Oh, look at there. You can actually pull your hood up, your helmet, H, H for helmet. Let's see how we got rid of our overlay there. Was it on the helmet actually? I don't know. Yep, it's on the helmet. So if you play without a helmet, you're probably playing hardcore. And what I mean by hardcore is you have no heads up display. You don't know how much ammo you have. And use the like environment that. to gain advantage. Activate weapon right. laser and attach a suppressor to surprise the enemy. You have to kind of guess at that. So that seems pretty, uh, pretty cool. Alright, we should have a guy popping out over here somewhere. Stick to the shadows, man. Stick to the shadows. Rank. 
Got two down. Oh, look at there. Oh, I got an achievement. I got a new rank. Get out of here, shall we? Seems like we wasted some time in here. Run for it! Well, we didn't want to die, did we? Of course not. Your country has sent you here to try out for the Interstellar Marines program, and for the next couple of months you are under my supervision. You have reached the end of the basic training exercise. The campaign mission simulation awaits you in the next area. Proceed when ready. Alright, we'll go ahead and do this simulation here to get a real feel of how the combat might actually go if we were to actually go into a combat scenario. You know, this actually reminds me kind of Half-Life meets a Battlefield in a Call of Duty setting, you know? It's really weird. It's cool, but it's weird. This seems like a really good fun time right here. The objective of this mission simulation is to locate crashed dropship, retrieve data pack from wreckage, and exfiltrate to the pickup zone. Watch out for hostiles. Move this over just a snip. Alrighty, here we go. We gotta look for an object at A, I believe it is. Where is A? Oh, look here, we got. <clears throat> we got the uh, hostiles. Take the hostiles down. Now, as you can see, that was only three hostiles. I'm sure there's more hostiles here somewhere. But like I always say, stick to the shadows. Especially when there's a well-lit area. Well-lit well -lit area. That can give your position away. Um. Headshot. We got three tang uh, tangos down. <laughs> Let's get in here and retrieve our uh, mission objective. Looks like a key card. Oh god, I'm getting shot! Trash can. Trash can's hard to take down. Project I am. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. A brief review of the gameplay tutorial. And uh, from what I can tell, it's, it's a really stellar game. If you want to try it out right now, if you've got Steam, you have four days left from today's date, which is February 11th, uh, 2015. So. If you want to go ahead and jump on board and give us an early access to the try, that would be awesome. If you liked what you see in this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be uh, out to get more videos. Alrighty. Take it easy, YouTube.